My name is Dr. Daniel Borsch, and I'm the president of Red Technology. On behalf of all the members of Red Technology, I'd like to welcome you to our presentation. Data from the Pew Research Center demonstrates an ongoing educational crisis in the United States. In a survey of 71 industrialized nations, students in the United States have been consistently outperformed by their peers in the areas of science, mathematics, and reading. These areas are the core components of STEM curriculum. This raises important questions. What is the role of the United States as a world leader in scientific fields? And two, how competitive will this generation of US students and subsequent generations be in obtaining highly competitive, lucrative, and increasingly political positions in a global economy? The laboratory component of any science curriculum is where students learn about and become engaged in science. Red Technology has chosen to enter the educational market by developing innovative 21st century laboratory exercises across STEM programs. The team of Red Technology consists of the individuals on this slide. Our board has a wealth of experience. Dr. Catherine Baker, Dr. Mark Andrews, and myself have over 100 years combined experience in education and research. Donna Pattison, Nick Bagaitis, and Gary Burke have over 100 years business experience, and Randy McKenzie has over 3,500 publications as a medical animator. All board members are involved with developing company strategy and policies. Red Technologies preliminary research into the educational market yielded the following results. Teachers are asked to evaluate the effectiveness of their existing laboratory programs and for suggestions on how to improve their learning experiences. The majority of responders had identified columns to the right of the slide as areas of concerns. Red Technology has developed a unique learning management system and a complementary database, which will provide new opportunities and learning experiences for educators and their students. Our program provides teachers with a flexible and customizable educational tool that will seamlessly diversify learning in and outside of the classroom. It would also provide students the opportunity to examine scientific mechanisms at both the macro or holistic level in the micro or cellular level to develop a more comprehensive understanding of scientific concepts. Our database will enable educators to assemble unique lessons from a single peer-reviewed resource meeting the academic needs of students in both traditional and virtual settings. Don Thompson from the National Science Foundation stated that we are teaching 21st century students with 19th century technology. Our programs will be designed to bring 21st century technology and proven teaching strategies into science curricula across academic disciplines. Any laboratory animation may be linked with additional education materials through the database so that educators may customize laboratory exercises. Red Technology intends to be a leader in digital laboratory exercises. The benefits for schools and students is we hope to enhance ed student performance decrease institutional cost, and provide alternatives for learning challenged students. Finally, Red Technology would like to provide equity for underserved and economically challenged school districts. The benefit for educators and students, Red Technology programs will provide scalable, engaging, and reusable laboratory experiments. We will promote literacy and access to information, and we will individualize student learning. Red Technology will use a grassroots strategy involving teachers during our initial sales period. Teachers are our consultants for designing and testing all laboratory exercises. We also believe that educators will recommend our programs to administrators in the check writers in the educational system. Parents are the check writers for the $1.3 billion homeschool market. Our sales projections are based on a critical mass of laboratory exercises and a national penetration of educational markets in middle, secondary, home, and higher education. Year three is our break-even point with fixed costs in years four, five, six, and seven with escalating revenues in those same years. We anticipate the date of exit is year seven and may involve merger 
or acquisition by another like-minded company. Red Technology is seeking capital investment of $300,000 to develop fully functional prototypes. We will require a second round of funding to develop fully commercially viable products across STEM curriculums. Finally, we will seek grants and supplemental funding. To summarize our proposal, our objectives are to offer innovative, flexible, and customizable technology that will empower teachers to transition from classroom learning to virtual learning seamlessly. We want to make America a global leader in STEM fields and allow our children to be competitive in a global economy. We have the expertise within Red Technology to achieve the goals outlined in this proposal. We've acquired legal engagement with Dentons, Cohen, and Grigsby to protect our intellectual property. And as our return on investments indicate, we have flat costs beginning in line three with escalating revenue growth through year seven. I want to thank you for your time and your consideration of our proposal. In my 40 plus years of managing global manufacturing operations, I have spent considerable time in Europe, Russia, Japan, and China. My associates in these countries have repeatedly stressed to me the importance for their children to achieve high test scores to become more competitive in the world market. The use of red technology in our educational systems will enhance our current school curriculums and allow for individualized training, improved student performance, increased test scores, and help the U.S. again become a global leader in the STEM fields. When Dr. Borsch and I first started discussing the use of technology in education, I was very interested. As a scientist and an instructor, I realized there is no better way to learn science than to apply concepts in an experimental environment. We believe our system will successfully allow students to do so, while minimizing time, hazards, and cost. It will also allow students to see and interact with systems at subcellular and molecular levels they are otherwise unable to experience. As the owner of a video production company with over 30 years of experience, I have developed and produced hundreds of educational and training videos for corporations and small businesses, including videos for an online learning platform for individuals with autism that has proven to be extremely effective and very successful. When Dr. Borsch told me he was developing a learning management system integrating technology, including video and animation, it made perfect sense. Our younger generations have been raised on watching and learning from videos in their everyday social life. Incorporating videos and animation into Red Technologies Learning Management System will enhance student engagement and interaction, encourage collaboration, and help with understanding complex information. This will result in improved learning and increased performance.